face. My goodness, but they've grown. The three young males of the Tsalala Pride. Last time I saw them, I think they were only about a year and a half old. The others are on the opposite side of the airstrip. There's one female. Must be the sub-adult, because I can see a tail. One female. And then the two males off to the right of her. A little bit further, there we go. There's the two other males, they were playing, they were the ones that were playing, but unfortunately they've settled down now. It was very common to see animals around this airstrip, which brings us to David and Napa. You know which animal particularly likes to lie on the airstrip, David? Is lions. Because the tarmac heats up and it's nice and warm. Although on a day like today, the wind is going to mitigate that effect, but they do, especially in winter, like to go and sit on the tarmac of runways. So yes, lots of the animals will come through and approach the airstrip. It's nice and open. Now the one thing about tar is that it is slippery. So for the predators, this is actually an ideal hunting ground. The lions of the Kruger National Park have learned to use the tar roads as a hunting technique By chasing the animals towards them, the animals can't get traction on the tar itself and they start to slip. Hello lions. It's good to see this pride again after all they've been through. Morning everybody. Hello. Good, thanks. How's it? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Cool. Thanks very much. Cheers, everybody. Enjoy. Oh, here's the question. I suspect that the young male is going to come through to this side. He's probably going to go and rejoin them. I wonder if it's not worth going all the way around the airstrip and back out the other side. Let's settle with this spot for now and just wait and see what they do. I'm also thinking just in terms of getting a little bit closer to the tree line to mitigate the effect of the wind slightly. I'm not sure what it's sounding like on my microphone. I know what it's sounding like in my ears. 